let's go bowling. This is not exactly what I had in. Ooh, the dreaded 7-10 split. Very challenging. I don't like very challenging. Please. You nerds are missing math class? <laughs> Bowl me over. <laughs> Gutter ball? Yes, a spare. Bowling in the hallway? Whenever anything happens at the school, it's always blame slab. Well, I don't have to stand for that. I'm just gonna take my bowling ball and go. Careful. Don't contaminate the crime scene. I need to rely on the physical evidence, since none of these people will talk. It's funny. I never really hear them talk. They just wander around in the background. Do you want to see me, Mr. Tater? Derby! Just wanted you to confirm that it's Slab who's responsible for the little bowling incident. What bowling incident? I don't know what you're talking about. Just tell us what you know. <laughs> Look, you better listen to him. He gets a little crazy. <laughs> Tater, why don't you run down to the corner for some donuts while I talk to our friend here? Don't leave me alone with him. <laughs> Come on, Derby. Slab has been terrorizing this place since he started high school seven years ago. I'd like to help you, Mr. Tater, but if Slab breaks me into little pieces, who will water my plant? You don't have to be afraid of Slab. He won't be around to hurt you. If you tell me he did this, he'll be expelled. Expelled? From the Latin expellare? As in to drive or force out or away? Maybe. If that means Slab go bye-bye forever. Slab did it. Slab did it all. Yes! I knew I'd pin this bowling thing on him. Oh, pin this bowling thing on him. <laughs> I did not see that delicious pun coming. on Slab is the greatest thing I have ever done. Girls are shouting my name, and it's not followed by, get away from me. Who squealed on me? Derby, Derby, Derby. Would you stop chanting Derby and answer my question? Derby is the answer to your question. What did you guys get for number three on the geography test? Moldavia! Moldavia! Oh, good. <laughs> I guess we've really seen the last of Slab. You haven't seen the last of me! Oh. That was quite a coincidence. That was no coincidence! <laughs> Want to go to lunch? I actually get to eat this one, and not the spare I keep hidden under this rock. Sure. I gotta hand it to you. This place seems different since you got rid of Slab. <laughs> it's 
nice to see everyone so happy. It is nice. <laughs> my oh my, what a wonderful day. I'm back! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm finally going to throw away this anvil. We haven't offered blacksmithing classes since last semester. <laughs> Ow! Derby? What are you doing in there? Hiding from slab? By the way, we have an anvil recycling program. <laughs> Derby, where are you? You may have escaped, but next time you won't be so lucky, no matter how many horseshoes you made in blacksmithing class. <laughs> where are you going? Come back here. You promised I'd never have to see Slab again. What happened to Slab? Go bye-bye forever. He got forever reduced to a one-day suspension. He had a good lawyer, and we had me. But you said you could guarantee my safety. I say a lot of things. OK, OK. The school has a little-known program we can use to protect you. Echo? Are you hiding from Slab, too? What? Uh, no. This is just an environmentally conscious dress I made from recycled recycling bins. Slab, what are you doing? Using this cardboard cutout decoy to trick Derby. When he sees it, he'll think it's me. Turn and run that way, right into my waiting fist. Nobody's going to be fooled by a cardboard cutout. Besides, we have a lot to learn today. Isn't that right, Echo? <laughs> Echo? Where are you going? Uh, to my seat. Class, I have some news to share. Derby will no longer be attending Finnegan High. What? Why not? He moved away to Atlantis. You mean Atlanta? No. Atlanta's not a real place. <laughs> anyway, on an unrelated note, I'd like to introduce our new foreign exchange student from England, Simon. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you, school chums. <laughs> Welcome, Simon. Why don't you sit over there? Next to Echo? Be happy to. How did you know her name is Echo? Her name is Echo? <laughs> what a coincidence. We call all the lassies Echo back in jolly old England. <laughs> Lovely to make your acquaintance. <laughs> I love your accent. What part of England are you from? Uh, Chester. Ford. Ham. Ten. Share. Adjacent. Tater, can I talk to you for a second? Darn. Didn't work. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't stand so close to it. I was wondering if you could put me in touch with Derby. Not to hurt him or anything. I just want to return this book he loaned me. How to bludgeon someone with this book. I already told you, Slab. Derby moved to Atlantis. Well, I looked up Atlantis. It said it's a mythical underwater civilization. Uh, yes. That's where Derby's living. If you don't believe me, you can talk to him yourself. I'll set it up. Fine. If you're lying to me, I'll have to use this other book Derby lent me. How to restore trust and rebuild honesty in a relationship. <laughs> Believe me, it's time consuming and very hard work. <laughs> Give me that. And your spare one. <laughs> hey, you. Who, me? Yeah, what do you have for lunch? 
kitty pie, blood pudding, and toad in the hole. OK, just asking. Isn't Simon great? He's so charming and elegant and refined. <laughs> <laughs> He's okay. <laughs> yeah. You can really taste the toad. Everything he says sounds so intelligent. Really? You like guys who are intelligent? Like someone who tested in the 99.99th percentile on the Stanford Binet Intelligence Scale? Here's a laminated, wallet-sized copy of my certificate. You can keep that. I didn't say I like guys who are intelligent. I said I like guys who sound intelligent. <laughs> I think I'm gonna ask Simon out on a date. Ooh, I, I wouldn't do that. Out on a date is British slang for attending a rainy funeral. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll just see if he wants to spend some time together. If you want, but you should know, time together is slang for having a tooth pulled without anesthetic. Really? Then I'll just suggest dinner and a movie. Ouch. Dinner in a movie. That's slang for violent diarrhea. <laughs> it's a funny culture. OK, Slab. You wanted proof Derby's in Atlantis, so I set up a video chat. Hello? Derby, you're really living in Atlantis? Yup. And I love it here. Plus, I'm dating a mermaid. <laughs> Oh, that is so hot. <laughs> the top half is the fish part, right? Huh. He really is in Atlantis. I guess I shouldn't have doubted the souvenir he sent me. You couldn't have said I was in Pittsburgh? Don't know. Maybe he ate some bad kidney pie and got dinner in a movie. There he is. Hi, Simon. Terribly sorry for being tardy, old chap. A lorry full of scones overturning the motorway. Hi, Simon. Well, it was an echo. The prettiest echo this side of Devon. Bright. Who? Ingham. Burry. <laughs> Listen, Simon, I was wondering if you'd like to go for... Supper and a film. Huh? Wait, are you asking me out? So, what do you say? Yes. <laughs> Derby. <laughs> Over here. Mr. Tater, why are you in there? I thought it would look suspicious if people saw you talking to me, so pretend you're talking to this garbage can. Good idea. How's it going, it's Simon? Great. Nobody knows who I really am. Derby! It's the type of hat I'd like you to watch for me while I'm on vacation. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. You're going on holiday? Smashing? No, I'm not going anywhere to smash anyone. I'm simply going to Atlantis to do some fishing. <laughs> One problem, I never learned to swim. In water, that is. I can swim fine in milk. I can help you. In fact, I happen to have a large tank of water in this classroom. <laughs> awesome! I'll go slip into my mankini. <laughs> What are you doing? This is perfect. I'll teach Slab to swim. He'll travel all the way to Atlantis, but all he'll find is an underwater civilization of fish people with no derby. <laughs> Pretty smart, huh? That's why I scored in the 15th percentile in the Stanford Binet Intelligence Scale. If you find this boy, please call his mom. <laughs> Mr. Tater said you wanted to talk to me? 
Derby. It doesn't take someone who scored in the 99.99th percentile on the Stanford Binet Intelligence Scale to see what's going on here. I know you're not in Atlantis. Okay, the truth is... But that's not why I'm here. <laughs> There's this new kid from England, Simon. Is he handsome? I bet he's handsome. Devilishly handsome. <laughs> the problem is, he's going on a date with Echo. My Echo. Ouch. I know. Not that. This. <laughs> Look, maybe this Simon agreed to go out with Echo because he used to be the kind of kid who didn't get dates. And now he has a fresh start. A chance to get a new reputation. Set himself apart from guys like, I don't know, me. So you're saying he may be interested in dating someone, not necessarily Echo. Exactly. I'm sure if you explain the situation and tell him you don't want him to date Echo, he'll understand. Are you dark, do you balmy twit? No blooming way I'm canceling the date. <laughs> This tank looks a lot like Atlantis. Uh, yeah. <laughs> After I saw where Derby lived, I was inspired to redecorate this tank. <laughs> you did a great job. I mean, this is exact. Right down to that sign that says, Welcome to Atlantis. <laughs> oh, OK. The truth is, anyway, thanks for the swimming lesson. <laughs> Off to Atlantis. <laughs> now to find me some of that sunken treasure. Ow! Stupid lobster. This is exciting. I've never played polo before. It's simple, love. Saddle up. <laughs> I don't even know how to hold the mallet. I'll show you. All you need is a firm grip. Now pretend this pony is you. That's it. Tight. Good. Good girl. Hey, guys. Don't want to intrude, but I thought you might want some tea and crumpets. I baked them myself. Fancy some crumpets? Yeah, I guess. Yes, of course. I meant you. Hmm. <laughs> These look scrumptious. I'll watch your ponies for you. Shall we try another round? Brilliant. After you, my lady. No! Are you okay? Oh, your poor elbow. Let me kiss it better. Maybe next time I should fall on my lips. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Looks like this pony wants to play some more. <laughs> Huzzah! Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. <laughs> to Atlantis. <laughs> oh, can I take one of those ponies so I can play water polo? Actually, I... I'll take this one. He looks well rested. <laughs> Giddy up. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> hey! Nobody laughs at Slab, except during my hilarious one-man show, Slab Servations. <laughs> Which the Sacramento Bee called a ripper on good time. I didn't mean anything by it, old bean. Who are you calling a bean? I'm gonna make your life at this school miserable. In fact, forget Atlantis. I don't need Derby anymore. You're my Derby now! <laughs> Get him! Is 
busy out there. Don't worry. We'll just get you another new identity. Everyone, I'd like you to meet our new foreign exchange student, Gretel. Hey, you're cute. What do you say to dinner and a movie? Oopsie daisy, I think I forgot to wind the cuckoo clock. <laughs> Come in, cuckoo. Hey, guys. I'm back from Atlantis. <laughs> I'm so sorry you had to go back to England. Yes, but I'm afraid Her Majesty needed me for a top secret mission. Duty calls. He said duty. <laughs> well, I really miss you. But at least I'll always have your pony to keep me company. <laughs> <laughs> I just really love this guy. 